What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Windows Server 2008 RT Enterprise. This is the 180-day trial. Now, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to go through uh, different steps on how to set up your environment to work within your network, and also how to install roles and so forth, and able to work with your server. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we are going to configure our network. It's simple. Click here on configure network and it's just going to bring you up in your network connections. We want to right click here, go down to properties and we are going to change our static or our IP to a static IP. So let's go ahead and click here and choose use the following IP address. Now the system is currently using dot three. So it's one nine two. 168.2.3 is what I'm currently using from the DHCP server. So I want to go ahead and keep it at that. We're going to come down here and this right here is going to be our gateway. This is the gateway to our, our internet through the world. Okay. And now we're going to tab down to our DNS server. And this right here is going to be our internal server. And this is just so that I can communicate and join our domain. And then right here is simply, oops, uh, we're going to use the Google DNS server. It just works a little bit better than our regular DNS server, which is from Windstream. However, our router has already got the DNS information for Windstream. So the only thing that we're doing here is this, we're just setting this inside of our DNS for our system. Let's click on advance and let's come over here to winds and let's set this to enable net BIOS over TCP IP and let's click on OK. Click on OK again and then OK again. OK, so we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, what we want to do is that we want to join the domain. OK, before we can join any domain, we need to reboot the system so that the new IP address and DNS information will take hold so that whenever we join our domain, it will join properly. So we're going to reboot and then we will join our domain. Okay, we are now back up, and so let's come over here, and we're going to just, actually, let's just go ahead and close out of this window, and there should be another window to pop up here in a second. And let's close out of this one right here as well. Let's click on Start, come over here to Computer, right-click on Computer, and go to Properties. On change settings for our computer name, domain, and work groups, work group settings, click on change settings, click on change, and then we want to join the domain. We want to give it the following computer name. Okay, so everything should be good. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And let's type in our user and our password. Click on OK. Okay, I thought that I was recording, but I had paused it, uh, trying to figure out how to join this thing to the 2003 domain. So let me go ahead and bring open our network properties as soon as everything loads and I will show you exactly what I had to do in order to join the domain. So uh, let's go ahead and click here for configure network. Right click. As you can tell it's already on the domain course foxfire.local. Click on properties and then we're going to come down to here Go to advance and go to wins and what we did is that we changed it from default to enable net bios over tcp ip and that was how we was able to join the domain so follow everything else that i did except it right there you want to go inside of advanced wins and change it to enable net bios over tcp ip and then you can join your domain Wayne Barron here with darkeffects.net. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.